Welcome to the second video of my motorhome project. In this video, we're going to be changing the shock absorbers on the motorhome. Here we've got the new shock absorbers, and we're going to start off by changing the front ones. In my previous video, I introduced this bus, and you can find the link to that video in the description. So, we're going to start off by jacking up the car, and then we're going to remove the wheels. To jack the car up, you want to get under the car and find a solid spot on the chassis somewhere. And you're basically going to jack up the whole front end using the jack that came with the car. I haven't got the low profile floor jack with me today, so I'm just using the bottle jack that came with the car. So what you want to do is just get it high enough so the wheel's just off the ground. So to get the wheel nuts off, I'm going to be using my impact wrench. This is probably one of the best tools I've ever bought. It's a bit costly, but it's definitely worth it. And here we've got a 42mm socket, which I'm going to be using to get them off. If you don't happen to have an impact wrench, you can use this wheel wrench that should come with your bus. Um, but what you need to do is leave it on the floor first, loosen all of them up before jacking it up. Now that we've got all the wheel nuts off, we can just go ahead and remove the wheel. And the front shock absorber is right under here. Now, although this one's not leaking any fluid yet, you can see the rubber on the top and the bottom is starting to crack. And it's not in very good shape, it's a bit rusty, so it's going to get replaced anyways. Now, to remove the old shock absorber, you need to remove these two nuts on the top. And you have a bolt down there holding it on. So I'm going to start from the top and I'm going to spray it with penetrating lube first. While that soaks into the rust, I'll explain how this is removed. So you've got two nuts, one on top of the other, so you can use a socket on the top one and a spanner to hold the bottom one so it doesn't spin the whole shock absorber. Once the top one's off, we're going to use an 8mm spanner on the top and the 19mm on the bottom to get the bottom one off as well. Here I've got my wrench with a 19mm socket and my 19mm spanner. That did not go as planned. We got there in the end though. I had to use vice grips on this bottom part to hold it. And then tried heating it first, didn't help. Then had to cut one of the nuts off. And this is the second one now. It's loose, so hopefully it comes off. Now the difficult part done, we move on to the other bit. This should be relatively easy and hopefully the impact driver fits in there. Now with the top undone and the bottom as well, it should just pull out. So here I've got a wire wheel, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all this and paint it with some rust oleum to stop it from rusting in the future. And while the wheels are off we're going to paint them. I'm going to mask off the tyre and the valve stem and then give it a bit of a clean and then we'll start painting it. And with it now looking fresh, we're just going to wait for the paint to dry and then we can put the new shock absorber back in. 
But while we're waiting for that, I'm going to take off the brake pads and replace those while we're here. So to get the pads out, you want to take this screw off, and there's a similar one right here at the back. Then the caliper just pulls this way and you should be able to pull both your pads out. So now you basically just pull the caliper off and here's your old pads. Pull them out, replace them with new ones, put it back in the same way we took it off and then we'll move on. Now this is the difference between the old and the new one. And here's the new one in place. I'm going to go ahead and put back the bolt down here and then two nuts at the top and we should be done. Now we're pretty much done. We're going to move on to painting the wheel. Just a quick note with the lower nut here. You don't want to go crazy tightening that down because it will run out of thread and that's when you stop and then put the next one on and then you want to hold this one with a 19mm spanner and then torque this one down on top of it using a socket. And the lower one goes back the same way it came off. For this side I took off this panel here and I'm going to be accessing it with the impact wrench from the engine hatch at the top and I've already gotten halfway so I'll go under the rest of the way. Here's the engine hatch off and you can see down there is the nut we need to get off. And here's one of the wheels which I finished prepping and masking. Now we're going to spray it. A quick side note about this uh, left hand side wheel. I've already changed the shock absorber on this side and finished but the wheel nuts on this one are reverse thread so if you're using an impact driver you'd have it on tightening and if you're using a um, bar to loosen it you'd go that way. Just thought I'd make a note of it so you don't wreck your wheel nuts. And here's our finished product. I'm pretty pleased with the finish. And now we'll just put the wheels back on and it should be done. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos and the main video about the bus and the intro. And subscribe to my channel. Thank you.